Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm bringing you guys a review of God of War 3 Remastered on the PlayStation 4. Is this game worth it? Is it just a cash grab? Hopefully, maybe I can answer these questions for you today. I've been a God of War fan since the first one. It's an amazing action game. I love the characters, I love the enemies, I love the story. It's just a great game. I probably beat God of War 3 like 5 times on the PS3. So I know what I'm talking about. So what do I think about God of War 3 Remastered on the PlayStation 4? To tell you the truth, I'm a little disappointed. This game is literally just a 1080p 60 frames per second port. They didn't go in and fix anything or add anything to the game. There's no night and day difference between the two versions of the game. God of War 3 was already a really, really good looking game for a PS3 game. They didn't go in and like add more grass patches or you know make better rock tessellations. You know they didn't do none of that stuff. It's literally just a 1080p 60 frames per second port. And that's pretty depressing because if you have a PS3 lying around you could pick up this game for dirt cheap. And if you already have it maybe there's no point in picking it up again unless you're a diehard God of War fan like myself. They went in and added a photo mode, but even the photo mode is pretty bare bones. You can't even make a full rotation around the character. You could zoom in, pan up and down, but you can't pan around the whole area, which is pretty garbage. I'm not gonna dive deep into the story of God of War. If you know about this game, you definitely already know about the story. It's a great game if you haven't played it. The controls feel tight, the combat is great. It's a little on the short side, but it's a single player worth actually playing. In this package, they didn't include God of War 1 or 2, so if you never played them, you're gonna not know what's going on. But luckily with PlayStation Now, you can play the very first one and second one and be caught up before you play the third one. To me, this game falls on the you know cash grab side, maybe because Sony doesn't have so much big blockbuster games coming out this fall they're just trying to you know fill in the gaps with something to play but the improvements to this game is just better frame rate and 1080p but literally the game looks exactly the same nothing much has changed at all and trust me i would know if something has changed but it does hold up a steady frame rate so that's a good thing i encountered a few dips in it but what can you do i guess so do i recommend god of war 3 remastered on the playstation 4 I recommend it if you haven't played the series at all, but if you play the shit out of this game and expecting that there's going to be a lot of changes in this and it's going to be a new experience and you want to get it, don't I say. Or at least wait till it becomes cheaper on the PlayStation 4 and then pick it up again. Because it's literally the same game, like nothing really looks that different. Yeah, because if you're expecting a Wind Waker level of remake or remaster or Halo 2 level of remake or remaster. This is nothing like that. It looks exactly the same as the PS3 version with just one extra feature, which is the photo mode, which is not even that great. Yeah, so if you already played the shit out of God of War 3 before, you might wanna, you know, wait for a price drop instead of paying like 40 bucks for this game. But if you haven't played the game before and you wanna give it a try, I actually recommend it. It's actually a, a really, really good game. Are you guys picking up God of War 3 Remastered on the PlayStation 4? Do you guys think it's a simple cash grab? Let me know in the comment sections below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and I'll see you guys later.